So Tupaya was a Polynesian navigator who joined Captain Cook's crew in 1769 as he came through the Pacific on Endeavour. And Tupaya was able to help the Europeans of the time map the Pacific um, better than they could with all of their modern day tools. And uh, the project's uh, very much in honour of him and all the Pacific Islanders uh, like him who have died too early. Tupaya pulls all that information together across a country, a province, a district, a health facility or a village and you can zoom in and out to see the data aggregated at those different levels. So if you want to see how many people a country has seen um, in respect to a COVID break, dengue outbreak, that sort of information will be displayed in Tupaya. So you can look at the national level and see how many people have uh, accessed health services within a specified time frame um, or you can zoom into a province, a district as mentioned and see there are more specifically details about where there are maybe gaps to people accessing the health system or where people are really doing well. And that allows the country to set up different um, responses in response to what they're seeing. And of course our most important partners are the partner countries that we work with. So whether it's the, the Ministry of Health of Samoa or the Ministry of Education and Sport in Laos. It might be a nurse in a clinic, um, it might be an administrator in a single province. Those are the people that we really consider to be the customers of the software, the, the actual end users. Whatever it is you want to do with data, whether it's data collection, data aggregation, analysis, visualisation or dissemination, we want you to be able to do that with Tupaya. And whether you're doing health programming, whether you're doing education programming, whether you're working in agriculture uh, or any other place in tech, we want that project to be powered by Tupaya so that everything is in the one place, free and absolutely world class. We're always looking for opportunities to learn more, to be mentored, um, to skill up and so opportunities to work with other multilateral donors like FAO uh, or within different countries and different contexts are always things that we jump at because it means that we can take those lessons, um, apply them in other fields and hopefully bring the benefits across all the different sectors that we're working in.